Nothing there. Nothing they spy for God hand. God take control of this filming. Let everything go smoothly. Let me be great. <laughs> That's what I say. What's up, you guys? How you doing? Yes, I'm back. I'm back again. Like I never left. <laughs> yeah, how you guys doing? I have actually missed filming okay like I've, I've actually missed like filming there are so many times i felt like just cutting my break short and coming back to give you guys gist hot gist <laughs> you know there's so many things that trended by the way i'm back on reality check with adeze me and that channel you know it's just god that's helping me on that channel okay but i know that i will never give up but anyway today i'm going to be doing my makeup this is me bare face. I have been dealing with a lot of skin issues. You see this UK weather and UK. That's why people tell me, oh, your skin is glowing, your skin is glowing. I'm like, no, my skin ain't glowing, okay? Ever since I came back from London, that London trip, I don't know. Something in that water has been disturbing me since then. Or it's just a continuation, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, ever since I came back from London, I've been having... Like, there are so many scars, they are going, some are going, some are coming, some are going, some are coming. I don't really have, like, active breakouts right now. Yeah, I feel like my skin is now, you know, coming down a bit. But, well, how, how so more? But, yeah, I still have the scars, so hopefully the scars go soon. So, yeah, let me start from the beginning and tell you guys, you know, basically what happened, Okay. Because a lot of things happened in the past. I think I've been away for a month plus. I think my last upload was 13th of last month. So, for the longest time, I have actually wanted to take a serious break from YouTube, okay? For the longest time. Now, for those of us, you know, those of you who watch us, you might not understand what it takes to be a YouTuber, right? So, it's not just filming content and posting. You have to engage. You have to cross-post on other platforms. You are active on other platforms platforms for some of us we're active on other platforms you know mostly instagram sometimes tiktok and aside the fact that we are engaging by putting out content and talking to people we are also consuming content okay so i want to say i love to you know create content i also watch other content creators like basically i'm, I'm someone who's always scrolling on instagram scrolling on youtube scrolling on tiktok you know i'm always doing that right now for somebody who is naturally introverted or can be introverted well let's just say naturally introverted right for someone who is like that that is a lot of interaction social interaction okay so not only are you interacting with people in your real life not only are you interacting with people over the phone that is aside from people you see physically like your family your kids you know your friends that you see physically you have the ones you interact with over the phone your parents your other siblings are not close to you you're interacting with them over the phone right now aside from those people you are also interacting with your subscribers your followers your watchers your whatever you're also interacting with them in the comment section even filming videos as much as you are filming alone and nobody's there with you you are still interacting with people okay it's still an interaction somehow then also aside the fact that you are interacting with all these people you are also just independently consuming content and maybe interacting in comment sections of other people's videos and stuff like that that is a lot of social interaction for somebody who is naturally introverted so what usually happens well in my own case i can only speak for myself what usually happens is that I burn out very easily. Um, yeah, I burn out very easily. So, like, sometimes I just stay, I don't talk to anybody. Like, I just don't want to talk to anybody. Don't talk to me. I don't, don't, I'll, like, don't talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. Like, it gets to that point where I get burnt out. And the people who feel it the most are those who are closest to me, which are like my kids, my husband. There are times I'm just like, don't touch me. Don't look, don't even breathe in my direction. Everybody just face your front. <laughs> Or if I don't do that, okay, because sometimes I don't have the luxury of doing that because, I mean, I have a family I need to take care of. When I don't have the luxury of doing that, I start lashing out on them. You know, I noticed it. I start getting really, really, really angry and really, really pissed off. I'm like, just any small thing they do just annoys me on a different level. And I start asking myself, do I have anger issues? Because I'm like, I'm not an angry person, you know. I don't even have enough anger in me to fight normal fights, like even when people are attacking me. So I'm not an angry person. Why am I lashing out on my family or people closest to me, you know, my husband and stuff? So I realized that my social battery runs out very quickly, not because I'm actually being social in person, but because 
of all these things I mentioned, you know. So it's still it's still you being social. It's just that we don't count it as being social because it is online. Anyway, so for the longest time I've been wanting to just take a break. I mean, I remember even while I was pregnant with Sophia, I filmed all through my pregnancy. I even filmed while I was in the hospital giving birth. I filmed the morning. In fact, throughout I when I gave birth with everything that was happening, I I was still filming even after I was filming. Now, I, I'm not saying, you know, it's a bad thing to film. I actually like the fact that I documented all of those things. Like, sometimes I come across my old videos and I'm like, oh my goodness, look at how I look. Look at how Sophia was. Look at, you know. So, I actually love documenting my life and telling you guys different things that I do. Basically, and even the feedback. Oh, you helped me with this. You taught me about this. Even me asking you guys for information and you guys giving me good information. I love it, right? However... It was too much. I was I was like, I need a break. I need to actually stay away from YouTube and Instagram and all of these things for a while and just touch grass, basically. Touch grass. I needed to I needed it seriously. And another thing that even made things more complicated for me was that when I came to the UK, I'm sure you guys would have noticed when I came to the UK, I did a few hair videos and I started getting so many hair videos. Okay. Now when I was in Nigeria, I used to get hair video requests. But not as much as I said getting when I got to the UK. I think location is, you know, a major part of it, right? Because in Nigeria, there are some brands, you, when they finish talking to you, they'll tell you, oh, they don't ship to Nigeria, this and that. So, I feel like location was part of it. So, I was getting so many sponsored wig videos. And I loved it. I mean, I love wigs. I love, you know, dressing up. Those are the only times when I dress up, even though it's just for camera most times. After the, after the filming, I go off everything. <laughs> Except maybe I have to go out, but I hardly go out. So, but I love it. Because I liked it, I was always putting out hair videos. And because I didn't want my channel to become like just a hair video channel, I was also putting out regular content in between. If you guys notice very well, I was filming more regular content that period because I didn't want to just film only hair video, maybe two hair videos in a week and that would be it for the week. So, what I was doing was, if I was going to put out a hair video on Monday, I would make sure I'll put out a vlog on either Sunday or Tuesday. If I put a hair video on Wednesday, even if it's the same week, I will find a vlog or a video or something and put out on Friday. So, if you look at my hair videos, you hardly see hair videos back to back. You will see that it's one hair video, one vlog, one hair video, one sit down video, one hair video, one hair... So when I look back, even if I wasn't filming hair videos, if I just check my regular content, I was filming more than, I was putting out content even more than I would have put on a normal day, like without the sponsored videos, okay? So that was a lot, my brothers and sisters. <laughs> that was actually a whole lot. It was a whole lot for me mentally, physically, coming from where I had so much help in Nigeria to a place where I was doing everything myself. It was a lot, but I didn't really mind it. I was even putting out content on, you know, reality checks. So I didn't really mind it initially until I started having... Oh, another thing is I also had some health challenges. I realized that I did not tell people in my real life the health challenges. So I cannot even tell you guys now because I'm like, it would be, be very bad. If people ask you, how are you doing? You say, you're fine, you're fine. And then they'll come on social media and watch that you are having one issue or the other. So... <laughs> So, I can't tell you guys the health issues, but those health issues complicated matters for me because dealing with chronic pain and some other issues, it was it was a lot for me, but I was just, kill, I was still keeping up. I was enjoying the flow, I was enjoying the back-to-back -back content, I was enjoying the money, you know, I mean, because I was getting paid, not just for the sponsored videos, but for the more output of videos I was, I don't even know how to speak English again, for the more output of videos. For the increased output of videos, I was getting, you know, paid. So, to come and now quit and say, I know they do it again or I they take break, it was really, really hard for me. But it was getting to a point where I was struggling. Like, I would, ah, no, I was, I was getting, it was getting too bad for me. I was eating anyhow. I mean, people are telling me, oh, they have lost weight. I have not lost weight, though. <laughs> now, they, now they see very well. <laughs> this girl has not lost weight. If anything... I gained some weight, you know, my body was just somehow, so it's even now I'm trying now to see if I can just try and lose weight again. But yeah, I was having health issues, I went to the hospital several times for different issues, trying to get to the root cause of the matter. I got some help, but some, see, a hospital here, story for another day. I got some help, but a lot of things were left out somehow. Anyway, 
So all these things were complicating issues for me and I was just feeling so down. I was feeling like, you know what, something has to give, right? And I told myself, see, all these, uh, you know, sponsored videos you are getting, all the money you are getting, of what use is it if you lose your life or if something serious happens to you where all that money you go use and treat yourself was not the point, right? And all these people that you feel like, oh, my subscribers, I don't be able to, I just didn't want anything to affect my channel, right? All that, all those, you know, things I was holding on to, of what use is it if you now have serious, serious health issues or something bad happens to you, of what use is all of that. So after considering all of that, I just told myself that see, I just have to take a break, right? Before my body forces me to. Because it got to a stage where I felt like my body was about to force me to, to take that break. I was like, eh, eh. Before my body will force me to take this break, make I just respect myself uh, of everything. <laughs> so, in fact, out of taking this break a while ago, I actually wanted to take this break even before I went to London, right? So, out of taking this break a while ago, however, I had so many, um, you know, obligations like sponsored videos and stuff that I needed to put out that I already filmed some of them, some of them had already collected the hair, I just had to put it out. So that was why I didn't even take this break when I should have taken it. I just had to wait till I was done with all that content. So the moment I was done, in fact, I, my, I think the last video I posted was a hair video because that was the last hair video that I was waiting for. The moment I posted that video, I just deleted my youtube studios deleted my youtube app deleted instagram tiktok um what else oh all the all my social media apps i deleted every single thing right i deleted everything single thing no i don't think i deleted instagram immediately i think i waited a bit for instagram um i waited a bit for instagram but i eventually just deleted everything and you know i was like okay fine now you need to rest okay you need to just focus on your family focus on people around you focus on yourself i did a lot of reading reading the bible you know playing with my kids bonding with my kids because stay at home mom stay at home mom you if you're not careful you'll be a stay at home mom but <laughs> you are better off just uh, ha having a job and leaving the house because you will not have that time to actually take care of your kids or bond with your kids the way you would like to or the way you thought that you could right so so i did a lot of bonding we went out we had fun we went to the zoo you guys it actually felt good to do things in my life without filming it for content okay like i mean of course i'll document it because I, i'm not <laughs> i'm not one of those people that can just go, go through life and enjoy something without filming it or without documenting it so i mean i'll document some part of it but not actively film it like i'm trying to film you know for people like to film content for people so i actually began to appreciate this city a whole lot more like i now love this place okay i love this place because remember even while i was relocating and all of that i was filming everything okay even though i wasn't putting it out in real time but i was filming everything everything that i did during that period i was filming it so when you are filming stuff right when you are filming an event or you know something for social media when you are actively filming it you don't actually enjoy that thing the way you should because you're not living in the moment that's just the truth no matter how you want to say oh you are no, no you're not because you are conscious of angles you are conscious of getting the clips lighting you are conscious of uh, capturing things as well as you know it's happening does that make sense? See, you guys, it's been long since I talked to people like this. So if I'm if I'm not speaking English, well, just put two and two together. If it makes sense, collect them like that. <laughs> um, yeah, so you are we are you're thinking of angle, you're thinking of oh cohesiveness or is it coherence? You know, you're trying to make sure that the content you are putting out or you are filming will make sense for the audience. So you're not going to enjoy it as much. So i I felt I felt like even though I was in this city, I wasn't really seeing this city well because I hardly used to go out. Um, I hardly used to go out. And even when I went out, I was always trying to film the video for, for you guys. So I didn't enjoy this city very well. So I decided that, you know what? I'm going to enjoy myself without filming it. And that is what I did. I spent a lot of time with my family. We went out, went to places, different places to play, to eat. And I made friends. I mean... 
I've been making friends all this while here, but like I say, I would say I bonded more with my friends because, you know, we went out, we did things together, visited each other and stayed and just talked with each other, basically. Um, so I made friends and I think that making friends actually made here a lot more, made me like here more. Let me put it that way. Um, yeah, made me like here more. Um, I have amazing neighbors. Some of my neighbors... I'll actually consider them as friends, both black and white though, which is funny because I don't know why I had this bias against white people somehow. I always felt like if you are friends with them, like you won't really understand yourselves, like just awkward. But no, my friend here that is a white person, we actually have more in common than not, right? We actually have more in common than not. I mean, of course, we don't understand each other very well when it comes to some things, but more than not so it's actually really fun to have friends and neighbors that you can bond with i've made some nigerian friends as well which is fantastic i'm even going to meet more people you know in the coming weeks there is an afro festival coming i'll talk about it more in a, in a different video because i've not yet gotten all the information about that thing but it's an afro festival coming you know, here in Norwich, so I'll talk about it later. I'm going to meet more people, especially Nigerians. Um, but I've met so many subscribers here, you guys. Jesus, <laughs> I don't know. Say, I don't know. Say, people they watch me like that too. I've met like it's almost like every place I have gone to, I've met a Nigerian or a subscriber, not even just Nigerians. There are some people that are not Nigerians, but I've met at least one somebody that knows me. Let me put it that way. Someone that knows me. Seriously, it's actually quite interesting. I don't think I can ever get used to it though. Please, if you see me say hi, right? I'm not saying that you should not say hi, you, but I don't think I'll get used to it because I always feel like eh, so this person watches me. Eh. Hey! <laughs> I said this thing before that even though I know that people watch me, obviously right but when i meet somebody in person and they tell me they watch me i'm like cringe so if we see all those things on instagram post oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> i'm always like hey chineke i'm like god bro so this is we used to see all the nonsense i used to post so it's quite interesting it's quite nice to be honest i like it it makes making friends even easier for me yeah, it makes making friends even easier for me. So I love that and so far so good. All the friends I've made here, they are all very sensible, normal, normal, normal. I like normal friends, okay, normal. <laughs> just normal. You know, sensible, normal people that, you know, everybody's just living their life. Everybody's happy. Everybody's living a good life, which is what I like because who you surround yourself with, especially when you're abroad, it's very, very important to... Hmm. Anyway, I really enjoyed my break. It was a much needed break and I enjoyed the rest. Even though I won't really say I rested though because uh, my life is still very, very busy. Even aside YouTube and stuff like that. My life is still very, 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 very busy. Trying to keep my kids busy and entertained and trying to do all of these things I mentioned. Even with Sophia who hasn't started school yet. Um, trying to find activity places for her and, you know, things for her to do. It's actually a lot. So even though I was taking a break from YouTube and social media, I wasn't actually like just lounging. <laughs> I don't think my lounging era has reached. When that lounging era reaches, I will make sure to let you guys know. So for entertainment, most times I was just watching series. Um, I started it. I was started Desperate Housewives again, and it was you see, uh, let me tell you something. Age actually affects how you perceive things so i remember when i was growing up when i used to watch desperate housewives i did not like brie right i don't if you guys have watched it you'll know who she is if not watched it then okay but anyway i didn't like brie i don't know why i didn't like her but i just didn't like brie but now that i am older i actually understand her and i like her even though you know she can be annoying you know she has her own faults and stuff like that brie and gabby are my favorite characters on the show Lynette, uh, uh, here and there, but the person I find the most annoying is Susan, Jesus. And when I was growing up, I liked Susan, mostly because I used to watch her in L uh, Lewis and Clark, or is it Lois and Clark? Um, Superman, okay, so she was Lewis or Lois in Superman. So I used to love watching her in Superman. So seeing her in Desperate Housewives, I loved her as well. You know, she had this goofy character, you know, whatever. So I liked her growing up watching the show. But now that I'm re-watching the show, I'm like, what the hell? Like, I feel like, like, 
at some point i was fast forwarding her parts let's tell you how annoying i find her so that's what i've been watching i'm currently in season seven i'm almost finished season seven that's to tell you how how much i've been watching it but i don't just sit down and watch i don't have that kind of time to just sit down and watch what i do most times is when i'm cooking when i'm cleaning when I'm, you know, just doing one or two things, even when I'm having my baths and I'm just taking my time, I put it on, I'm just watching. So it's not like I sit down and watch seven seasons. So yeah, we we'll get that kind of time. <laughs> but yeah, growing up, Desperate Housewives was one of my favorite shows ever. So right now, when I'm looking at my life, I'm like, I'm living my suburban <laughs> housewife life, okay? <laughs> That's how it feels now, right? Okay, I had to do my lashes off camera. I don't know, I feel odd, you guys. I feel odd with makeup. I've not done makeup since. It's getting to almost two months now. So I feel so weird. I feel like I look odd. Ugh. I can't wait to get this makeup off. <laughs> so yeah, church, you guys. We've been going to church. And I love my church. Like, I actually, actually love my church. It's one of those places that... You know, basically, everything I prayed for before I came to this UK... Everything is just happening the way I prayed for it. And I'm so happy about that. Like, prayer works, so... Hmm. Prayer works. Because I remember when we found out that we were coming to the UK, we actually prayed and fasted, just asking God to help us with the whole... Yeah, that was a lot of highlights. Just asking God to help us with the whole journey and, you know, guide us right and just... I specifically prayed for friends. I prayed for the right friends. I said, God, let the right friends come to me. Same thing with church. We pray, I prayed about church. I was like, God should give us a church that will be like our church. Not just a church that you'll be attending because hey, you don't get choice now. Or oh, that's what is available. Mm -mm. We wanted something that would be very good for us. And I'm happy to say that the church that we go to now is one of a kind. I absolutely love it. And there are so many Nigerians in the church as well. Even though it's not a Nigerian church. I've met quite a number of Nigerians. In fact, the first day I entered church, at the door, at the first black person I met was a subscriber. <laughs> so, remember that I told you guys how we actually had a house that we rented or wanted, were about to pay for before we... They now said they're no longer renting to us again. They now put the house up for sale, right? So, and that house, it pained me because I loved the house. I already planned how I was going to decorate the house in my head because it's a non-furnished apartment, right? Or so a non-furnished house. So I already planned how I was going to decorate that house in my head and it was close to my husband's office. You know, it sounded perfect on paper or on the website, you know. <laughs> it sounded perfect, like when we all things considered, right? However, I remember praying that, God, the only reason why we should not go to that house is because he has something better planned for us. And whatever is better that he planned for us would, you know, we'll obviously love it, right? So, even though I was praying for that house, I was like, God, I want that house, I want that house. That house is my house. I was calling in my house. I still pray that, you know, if, if we're not going to get that house, let it be because there's something better that God has planned for us. Because, you know, you can't tell. You might be wanting something, but you don't know whether that thing is actually going to be good for you. It's God that knows. So, I remember praying about that. And now, looking back... I am so happy they did not rent that house to us. Like, I'm so, so glad they didn't rent that house to us. Because, first of all, the area where that house was in, I don't think it had an area... Yeah, what am I doing? I don't think... Yeah, the area where that house was in, I don't... Right now, looking back, it's not an area I would have been very, very thrilled to live in. I mean, obviously, it's a good area, but it's a smaller city almost like a village <laughs> you know i call it village it's a smaller city than this norwich it's not washam anyway it's a smaller city it's major majority white people that live there not that there's anything wrong with white people living in a place but you know it would have been i don't think i would have enjoyed that place as much as i am enjoying this norwich so i'm so grateful to god that we didn't get that house. Like, I'm so happy that those people bounced us. Because the way it happened there, eh? one week to the day we were supposed to pay. They now told us that they've changed their mind. Ah, it pained you. It pained me. And even the size of this house, even though I complain a lot about the size of this house, I've realized that actually, my problem is not the size of the house. My problem is actually the size of my room. The house is actually not a small house. Is okay for UK standard. It's actually very okay. If I had a bigger bedroom, I don't think I would have complained about the size of this house at all. Well, you know, 
It is what it is. Yeah, so the kids will soon be on holiday. This is their last week. And I am actually looking forward to my kids closing from school simply because when they are around, Cora, for instance, Cora can take care of breakfast. She can do one or two things around the house for me. Same thing with Ava. They can also keep their sister company. That is Sophia. She won't disturb me as much. And also, um, yeah, just I don't have to wake up in the morning and start taking them to school. So I'm actually looking forward to the holiday. I'm not one of those parents that are like, oh, why is there a holiday? No, I actually like it. Please, it's good as a holiday. But yeah, that's my life update basically. And that's why I left YouTube and I'm back now. I didn't actually ghost people. I mean, people close to me, people in my life, my personal life. I told them before I left. So, people in my life, people in my personal life. Anyway, people close to me, I told them before I left. But I'm good. Thank you so much to all of you who reached out to me. So many of you actually did. There's one email I just remember that I actually missed. Yeah, there was someone, someone's email. Because, you guys, I wasn't even replying emails though. I closed my email, everything. I closed every freaking thing. I was like, you know what? I just have to stop <laughs> i just have to stop so i wasn't able to reply emails but when i came back i was replying emails there's a particular one i saw but i think i refreshed or i forgot or something i didn't reply so i'll go and try and reply those emails now i think there are were, were like two of them but yeah thank you guys so so much for checking up on me and reaching out to me i am actually doing very very well i'm more refreshed i'm happier i feel better i feel even physically i feel better i started making some slight changes to my life to see if you know like this fat that has been has been holding my life hostage for the past few years <laughs> i want to see if i can actually get rid of this fat that's been that's been holding my life hostage um there was something that actually happened you know, there was a bad news that I received that period as well, which made me, which it's part of why I even left Seth, you know, yeah, it's part of why I even left, because I was like, it's a lot, man, I couldn't, I couldn't handle what was happening that period, so I deleted Instagram, and you know, I was fine, only for me to download Instagram yesterday, yesterday, oh, I downloaded Instagram. Next thing I'm seeing, collapsed building with children. Instead, I'm like, what is all this? What? I felt like this thing they are back. I'm like, nope, 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 nope. I didn't come back for this. I did not come back from this. I did not work on my mental health. <laughs> I didn't work on my mental health for this while, only to come back and just destroy it in one day. I'm like, nope, I'm not ready for this. So, I have to just try and skip all those posts because I don't want to delete Instagram again. Um, yeah, I have so much to talk about. So many things were happening. I was like, I wish I could just come and talk about them. But I didn't want to go on Instagram, so I didn't even have the story fully. But I got a summary of what was happening from someone. And, you know, when I now got back yesterday, I had to go back and start doing my research and reading and watching and, you know, checking out a lot. And I'm like, ah, I have so much to tell you guys. So please go and subscribe to that channel. Big Brother is also coming. I'm also going to try and cover it. Not day-to-day -day play 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 by play but i'll try and cover you know the most important things that happen there and if there are any other series or movies or trending topics social topics that are happening that you want me to discuss on reality check let me know and then also here as well if you have any topics you want me to cover here if you have any questions for me if you have any q a you know like idea that you want me to have maybe q a about this q a about that let me know in the comment section. I'm back. I'm better. I'm ready to rumble. <laughs> you guys, I bought this top from Primark. I don't know why I bought this top because I don't have anywhere to wear it. So like, each time I bring it out, it doesn't fit the occasion. It never fits the occasion. So that's why I now wear it to film video because it looks like Hawaii vacation kind of blouse. And it's actually a female blouse though. But it doesn't just fit the vibe here because there's no even summer here. Okay, summer did not arrive in the UK this year. I thought it did. The sun, the sun came out for like one or two or three days, and I was very happy. I went and bought a lot of stuff for picnic, and you know that picnic has never happened since then because every day the weather has been dancing a willow. Okay, the weather has been dancing, rain has been falling. You know, you get sunshine, and before you even see Jack Robinson, everywhere is dark and cold and gloomy and everything. But anyway, if the summer comes out, we will still have fun. We will be outside. But if it doesn't, I'm still just going to have fun inside my house with my... With my I want to say with my wife and children. <laughs> with my husband and children, I'm still going to have fun. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it wasn't too long. 
even if it is, I'm going to put it out on the chat. Okay, watch. You guys have missed me. So watch. I've missed you guys too. Watch. Watch it. Watch it. Don't skip any ad as well. <laughs> Hi, guys.